All right, Coach, wrapped up with the fall, and uh, I think it was pretty successful. Uh, you saw a lot from a lot of different players. Uh, what were your overall impressions of the, of the fall practice period? Yeah, you know, honestly, Dan, I think the guys were super excited to start it. Uh, we got back out there and, and got ramped up pretty quickly there. Um, obviously, you know, we're, we're dealing with different times right now, so I think the guys definitely didn't take for granted what they were getting an opportunity to do. Go out there and enjoy it and get some sense of normalcy. Uh, we, we got three weeks, four weeks in, and you can see, you know, the body starts to take a little bit of a toll because we're lifting weights and doing the running and conditioning at the same time we're trying to do fall ball. And, uh, but I thought the energy picked up there and, and probably finished in all honesty, Damon, and, and at least in my tenure, in my eight years, uh, it was about as positive as we possibly could have. Uh, I thought it was a great series. I thought we had two. Uh, really tight ball games uh, where you know the series could have swung either way, uh, but I thought what we wanted to get accomplished, the system and, and obviously the leadership standpoint, um, I think everything that we need to get put in this fall got put in, and now so we can still build here the next month before Thanksgiving. What uh, or I guess who really stood out to you? Yeah, I mean obviously the Trey Schaefer, Will Warren combo coming back. Uh, you know those guys will obviously be in the rotation, but if you start looking for some freshman standpoints and some. Uh, starting the pitching side of things. Will Kinsler, uh, you know, had a match with Will Warren game one. They went toe to toe, uh, and in all honesty, I, you know, the stat line didn't show it, but I thought he pitched extremely well there until he got tired there in the sixth inning, and uh, you know, also put himself into consideration for a rotation spot in the springtime. Brennan Stuprich, uh, I thought did another good job. You know, he he's the one that kind of started out really strong early, kind of hit some woes there in the middle of the way, and really came on strong there at the end there in the fall of the series for us as well. And Kyle Bartley, uh, just super competitive the entire fall. Uh, and then what he did there at the end of the fall World series, man, he doesn't, you know, nobody's going to match that energy of what he pitches with and show that he can also be a, a real force to be reckoned with in the springtime. As far as position player-wise, you know, it was a little bit of checks and balances. We, we balanced some things with the COVID stuff. Some guys were out, uh, back and forth, in and out. Uh, we really wanted Gabby Cruz to get some way of ease and, and unfortunately, you know, miss some time there. But uh, I think you're going to look for him, hopefully, to help us there offensively. But then let's talk about returners. You know, Connor Manola uh, had a really nice fall, uh, you know, showed his power, showed you what he can do when he has ability to rest in between. Yeah. Uh, the offense, you know, can also be uh, a lot stronger for him there. And with his three home runs, I thought he did that this fall. Uh, Tyler Finke picked up where he left off last spring there at the end. Really had a nice fall for us and a great showing. Uh, and then Christian Garcia, man, just another guy who's extremely versatile for us in that outfield. Uh, probably solidified a job out there, whether it's going to be center or left, depending on what we do with Finke. You know, whether we move him into the infield, uh, obviously, uh, or if he plays center field there as well. I think you got some bright spots uh, and, and some other guys there. Eli Johnson had a really, really nice fall uh, and really ended well in the Fall World Series. Would, would be my vote for Fall World Series MVP. Uh, so, yeah, I think overall those guys kind of finished the, the, the entire fall uh, on a really high note for us. All right, so now that that's all wrapped up, obviously – this is a, a very important period, and it's actually a little bit longer period for these guys than yeah. what you normally would have. Uh, what What is next? Yeah, so you know we'll give the guys a chance this week to kind of get the grades where they need to be. Uh, we'll do still weights this week, <clears throat> and then we'll have some post-fall meetings, just kind of a, hey, man, where you stand at this point in time? Here's what we see you doing in the springtime. Obviously, things can change between now and, and January and, and also in between February. Um, but, you know, just to you know, kind of – Get some guys a little more solidified in roles, uh, some guys a little more direction what they're going to do, and, and give guys opportunity to make some decisions. Also, we've got a roster that's uh, that's been expanding because of COVID. Uh, we gave some guys some opportunities to come in and improve themselves, and uh, so there will be some moves to make this week. There'll be some moves to make at the end of this fall semester once grades come out as well, and just tell those guys, man, to maximize as many opportunities they possibly can. Don't minimize them, you know, by doing the stuff that they need to take care of, and, and obviously not things they shouldn't be doing on, on the flip side of that. So. Um, you know, we'll continue to do some team building exercises. <clears throat> um, you know, we'll continue to do some stuff, again, from a strength and conditioning standpoint, but also from a mentality standpoint. I think it's a big part of what we do as a program. And I think it's going to be our separator. Again, we've talked about this numerous times. You know, this can be the most competitive year ever in college baseball. You know, what's going to be our separator? We really feel like it's going to be that mentality and that makeup portion of it. So we need to do a good job of building that throughout Thanksgiving. <laughs>